What's up guys, it's James here and I'm with my good friend, AJT BLS. Uh, you may know him from GOAT format, but here in, a, in the A, we played uh, Edison format and he conquered everybody because he won this tournament with his Blackwing deck. And, and you've only been playing for like a week or two, right? Yeah, I learned Blackwing about seven days ago. Oh, okay. And who helped you? Who, did anyone teach you or anything? Yeah, Team Rhino. Oh, okay, just them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just them. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, he won the tournament. Like you really can't say shit. Cause at the end of the day, yeah, he's a GOAT player, but he won the Edison tournament and the fundamentals carry over, I would say. So any words about the deck or anything you want to say before we get into the profile? Uh, I think it's legitimately probably the best deck or the best deck right now. Um, I think it's slept on. I mean, you don't even play, what, what do you know? Uh, well, hold on. I had to practice a lot in those seven day, that seven day period. No, uh, on the on the real, it's it's probably like, it's in the big the big three of Frog at um, Frog Blackwing Bayou. I, I don't know where it ranks in those three. Just right. play one of the three those three and you'll do you'll do well. Just master one of them. So I I don't know. I spent a lot of time uh, realistically playing Blackwings. So it's a I pretty do. good deck. I'll I'll admit. All right, and let's see the brew, dude. All right. Um, we'll start with the monsters. So we got uh, three Shura, which is just like standard shit. Um, you know, eighteen hundred for searching on Blizzard and or sorry, searching off Warwind. Um, and then uh, run over something with battle, get an effect. Sweet, everyone knows what it does. Uh, probably like the best boss monster in the format. Uh, three of the Sirocco's, nothing. You like three? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, why not? It's 2000, you can search everything that's under it, no? Fact, Zerk really. Yeah, so and it's also a target for something else a little later. Oh, uh, I wonder. It, it, it does some pumping, it's, got, it's, it's a nice card, bro. Uh, Two Boras, you see, because three is just like, you can't run three. Now you're gonna need to explain this one. Because <laughs> I've heard a lot of people that think three is good. No, no. Um, honestly, bro, I'm considering running one. Uh, <laughs> no, two is fine. Um, I decided to run two because I wanted to run something else and I wanted to do something different. I feel like Bo um, Bora is kind of like that extender that has good synergy with this. So you go like sure. normal summon, special summon, and then you finally got like a 37 body that can pierce. Um, I, I just feel like you don't need more than two, like those situations that you need to do a, uh, you know, either OTK kill, you can just search the other one off of Whirlwind. It's not really a card that necessarily I'm super thrilled when I open it in my hand. It, whereas like the other cards, um, that I have at three, I'm like really happy I have in my hand. So that's my, that's my reasoning. And you feel like it served you well in this <clears throat> you're testing, like you're happy about that decision. Yeah. Um, I am. And actually you in the, uh, voice chat were commenting like why do you always side this thing out so i was like you know what like i always side i always side bora down to two or even one when i was running three so let's just run two like sure. we're, we're siding it out anyways let's just go to two if it works it's correct yeah yeah exactly exactly that's good logic good man yeah, thanks uh three blizzard i think that this is just nuts especially yeah. with another card in my deck um I don't know, it's a plus one. Like it's just, at the end of the day, I know Edison's a lot faster than Goats, but it's still a plus minus game. How often would you say you leave the thing on the board instead of synchroing? Um, it depends what I think, what, what's going on. I wanna say maybe 30% of the time, that's honest. Yeah. Probably maybe a little, maybe like 30 to 40%, pr less pretty, than 40. I think it's pretty often. Yeah. yeah, maybe less than half, but I think it's pretty often that it's the right yeah, thing to do. Yeah, it stays up. I don't yeah. know, you, you pick something up and hope it stays, or you have an Icarus Every body. time, Every time I feel like I can't clear it and they end up just switching the Shura to attack next turn, I, I feel like I already lost. Yeah, so. If that ever happens, I just lose. I don't know. It, it has the ability to do more than just sink into a six or a five. Um, you get a body and it's a real body. Its effects aren't negated. It's cool. It's good. I also feel like, I mean, you can keep going. It, it just show the rest of the thing. But, yeah, all right. But, uh, but I'll, I'll say, like, I think that uh, Blizzard, like, Blizzard and a Brio pitch a Vayu or Sirocco piece, like, that wins so many Blackwing games. Like, yeah. I think it didn't used to be this way. I don't know. I don't know what I, like, what changed, but, like, I feel like so many games are just decided by that specific line. Like a Brio Vi, yeah, it yeah. is. It, it's just like an OTK type, yeah. yeah 46 yeah. out of nowhere or, mm -hmm. or more, like if you have stuff on board already, like just so easy. It Yeah, it just feels that way. Um, that came up a lot. I, I OTK'd or dealt like 6K in a turn a lot. Yeah. Um, three Kaluta, we don't yeah. have to get into that. Yeah, that's, Kaluta's good. Uh, one Gale, yeah, uh, two, two Bayou. You like two. Uh, I like to because again, like I'm running three blizzards. I need that ability sure. to make the Brio play. I need also a way to dodge oppression, have another target. You, yep. I don't even need to talk about it. It's good. I think two um, targets is good. I did side out one uh, sure. quite often, but it 
Makes sense. Two, two in the main. Um, standard spells. Uh, standard spells up until this point here. Um, I did main deck mind control. Hold it was up. nuts all day. Yeah, it was good for you. Yeah, it was awesome. I was taking Rikos. I was taking things. I was sinking. I was, I was, I was doing my thing with it. I don't yeah. know. You played a few Vi Turbo, right? Overall. Yeah, I played mostly against Vi Turbo all day, okay. and this card, this card just felt like a nut. Sure. Um, it's good in the Vine Turbo and good in the Mirror, which you played a few of as well. So those yeah. are big decks, you know? Yeah, I mean, listen, even against Frog, like, it's not the best, but you can break that lock. You can break yeah. the lock. True. Uh, we'll go to Traps. Um, I love Traps just in general. I feel like sure. it's probably my favorite um, card. That's like, good card enough. Type. Yeah. Uh, Me, probably uh, Spell. Yeah, they're, they're sneaky. Yeah. I don't know. It's a trap. Uh, so just standard so far. Um, We'll talk three Icarus. Uh, people, people have been running like two. Isn't that insane? That is insane. Tell them. Tell it's them, insane. dude. It's insane. It's insane. It's so you, good. You have a body that can search and special summon shit from the graveyard for free. It, for free, and you just Icarus, and now you take two. Like you cash in. It's an in engine on the, piece. It's engine a, it's a piece. plus one. So okay, you normal summon Blizzard, and you take that garbage by you. Cool combo tutorial. Yeah, you you normal summon Blizzard. You take that garbage by you. Your hands bricked. You didn't open war when you know boohoo, cry me a river. Um, but you take that Vayu and you're like, okay, well, the Vayu can't stay. It's going to run over. It's got zero defense. It's garbage. But if you Icarus and you mm. take out two things, you've now cashed in. And, like, this is a free Icarus. It's plus one. It's plus minus. It usually just ends their turn. Like, they, they can't play <clears throat> you through it. No, no, no. Uh, one DDV. I was on two. It was too much. And, like, this is this is good. It's the same as, like, my YCS top. Um, DDV in the main is kind of kind of cool. You know, there's a virus deck going around right now. That's oh, I've like, heard about that. Yeah, I heard about it. I can't remember who invented it. I think no, it was. I'm not sure. Was how many how many viruses was was Hector running in his? At least at least two. Right? Yeah. Oh, you two. think it was Hector then? It had it had to have been Hector. No one no one else that we know. I see. Personally. Uh, yeah. It, no one important. Yeah. Least. Shout out to the Mongo Boys for sure though. <laughs> uh, anyway, one DDB. Um, these are standard here. I only ran one legacy. I think that more than one is just too much. Like I don't know. Like you just it, spiced it in there at the end. Just sprinkle. If it you in think there. about, if you think about like goat format and stuff, like these guys like really, really are heavy on Jar Greed and their Turbo or in their in their Warrior. I don't know. It just draws a card. Like just chill. Like you don't need to just draw, draw, draw. Like, it's not let's a real card. Real, bro. Let's have real traps. Let's it's do something. It's not a real card. Yeah, and then. Uh, this is kind of like the tech of the deck. I mean, that two dust. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're not messing around in the mirror match. We're yeah. ready. I want those back rows gone. There's a lot of bomb back rows. I want to resolve my whirlwind. I want to do my thing. I held whirlwind in like, um, you know, Ashura or summon a lot. And I would just set dust and like Wait take, until take, you dust it. take care of it. And I'd only set one. I'd only set one. Even if they have two, I'll just dust it. And then uh, end phase, I'll set another dust. And my turn, I'll dust the other one. Oh. So, yeah, secondary effect, bro. It's um, got another effect. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah you got to consider that secondary. It yeah. came up. Okay. All right. Uh, we will move to the uh, side deck, and then we'll briefly talk about that extra deck. Sure. All right. You played a lot of Black Moon's Vi. I mean, we already said that, but that was, that was to my understanding, what you played against the most? Uh, no, Vi or No, Black just Birds. Just Black Moon's Vi. Anything out of the ordinary they played? Uh, I played round one against a, a stun player where okay. he actually had me against the ropes in game one. And honestly, like, I thought I was going to lose because he summoned Breaker. And, like, this is in GOAT format. And he shot my Mirror Force. And I was like, holy shit, we're in a top decking war. And he just shot my Mirror Force. What the hell? Take 16. I'm down to, like, I don't know, two grand. Top deck Blizzard. We, we, nice. we, we, we made Goyo and we just went, we just went off. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyways, uh, we'll move to the uh, side deck here. Two Crow, good against a variety of, of decks. Two Dyna, again, good against like Frog and you know those special summoning decks. Can't things that do too many things. You got you can't trust that. Special summon too much. Yeah, you got to shut that down. Uh, one Gores, nuts in the mirror. People mm. people main deck this. I think um, actually I know for a fact Frazier uh, main decked this. I played against him at the last RBT. I lost in the bubble. It was brutal. brutal you lost match. to him. You lost I did. to Frazier. I did. I did. It oh, sucked, okay. uh, but he beat me and it was clean, whatever. Um, and he main deck Gores, so if it's good enough for Frazier, it's good enough for me. I see. All right. Uh, two Sidra and the side. I think that's just like standard now. People just do that. Yeah. Um, this was kind of like my tech card. Uh, one True Nade. Ooh, did you board it? I boarded it in against um, going second against Dex at side. Uh, a lot of back row hate. So I even sided it in against uh, Vayu sometimes when I'm going second because I want to get the, again, I need to search off Whirlwind. 
Yeah. Um, and if they run road, it's annoying. I need to get my stuff down before they have road so I can end phase Icarus their shit. So I need this just to establish presence and also gladiator beasts being really popular. True. So I don't know. Keep Face siding your road. roads, bro. Like I'll, I'll just lift everything up. Honestly, low key, even if you bounce a bunch of dust tornadoes, that's your traps are living through their turn. Yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm the first guy down and yeah. you have to come to me and I'll dust tornado your stuff. Sure. Uh, then we have another dust tornado. So the third dust, um, Another DDV for, you know, frogs and all the stuff that has small stuff. It's good against Bayou too, I guess. Um, two rugs, self-explanatory. One road specifically for the uh, mirror match and maybe even like light scorn. I don't know. Like things that just uh, destroy two or more. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. And then uh, two oppression. Oh, you side up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think this card's just like nuts. I think you I need mean, to yeah, in the matchup is good. It's really good. Yeah. Um, so when it hits, it really hits. Let's, Let's do the extra real quick. Real yeah. quick. Uh, so real this quick. is this is the Gore's token. Um, nice. You're versatile. Them. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just like, you know, we're going to briefly go over this. We don't need to talk about them. Everyone knows what yeah. this is. Uh, the only thing that people have been like commenting, and I'm, I'm real sick of the comments to be honest. They're like, oh, one armor master and you have two bayous. I played a thousand matches of this shit. And honestly, I'll tell you that there has been three occurrences where... Three? Yes. Out of a thousand? Out of a thousand. Huh. That it came up. And I'm going to give you even more in depth about those three. There has been three occurrences out of a thousand where it was like, holy shit, I would prefer to have another armor master. Now, of those two, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, sorry, of those three, and two of them wasn't a big deal because I, would, I just made black rows and it was kind of like a, a shitty black rose. Like I had nothing else to sink into. But there was one that was like really brutal. Like, holy shit, I needed another one. But man, this is a thousand matches. One out of a yeah. thousand. Um, and because of that, only running one, um, I was able to run Mistworm, which wow. actually does come up. Did it and come for, up for you in this tournament? It did not, but Mistworm... Do you think it comes up more than three out of a thousand? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Mistworm comes up like two out of every hundred. So okay. much right. more than um, much more than this guy. And Mistworm also like opens up the board for like against Frog, against a whole bunch of stuff for like weird sure. OTKs. And like, I don't know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a cool card. Like, he is cool. And uh, the uh, Chimera, whatever you pronounce this card. Yeah. Uh, and that's all. Cool. Well, good job on your performance Thank you. uh, in the A. And I think you're you're sort of an OG of this area now. And yeah. any any final words or thoughts uh, for the GOAT or Edison community? Uh, thank you very much for the support and thank you for the practice. And that's all. Shout out to cool. you, James. Peace. Thanks.